Welcome everyone, welcome to another unboxing video and in this unboxing video we're going to be taking a look at the uh, the new wood stove that I purchased yet again, another stove. <laughs> what I do like about this one is that it is folding, I believe, I'm hoping it is anyway. So we'll have a look at it and if it isn't any cop then it's not much lost is it? Straight out of the, uh, the packaging, it's a nice little handbag. <laughs> Look at that, that's pretty cool isn't it? And nice little zipper on the top and it opens out. That little, uh, that little bag's cute, I like it. That's probably worth seven quid isn't it? Right, okay, so this is it, in the uh, unmistakable blue packaging, which they always come in, it seems. Um, so we'll kind of open it out. Ah, there we go, see, hinges, brilliant. Okay, like that. And then we've got a little grill, uh, an ash pan, I presume. And then, in the bottom there, that basically locks down into place, a lot like the bush, um, the bush box. And then at the front here, you can see, no, is that because, ah, there's a little, a little door mechanism on it there. So, yeah. So what we'll do, we'll get all this stripped off. I'll bring you back and we can have a good look at it now. That was a massive faff trying to get all that blue wrapping off there. Flipping heck, it's took me about half an hour. <laughs> and I've still not got it all off. So it's going to have to have its first burn and hopefully that'll just burn it all off. So this is it anyway. Um, I've had to straighten out one of the legs because it came bent. So that's what you've got to expect, I suppose. And, you know, um, so I've got a piece of wood, popped it on the top and then clouted it with a hammer and we're straight again now. So, yeah, so like I was saying, so you've got the uh, the front bit here, which is like a little um, lock mechanism, latch. So that opens up, and that's your feeder in there, so you feed all your wood, um, rather than doing it from the top, feed it all in from the bottom, that's what, one of the things that I really liked about it. Um, so you've got your grill, that's your top grill there, which is pretty, pretty sizeable really, you'll get quite a, either a, um, your pot on there or get some food going on that, no problem at all. And then you've got your uh, your grate at the bottom there, um, just obviously to pop your wood on, and then you've got your, your ash pan at the bottom which slides into the side here, which was a bit of a faff because I thought that it came from the front but it doesn't do, so that's a little uh, bit of a, a save your time tip for you. If you're gonna get one of these, uh, it just slots, slots in from the side rather than from uh, from the front or the rear. So yeah, it's, it's pretty nice. You've got two handles, one at the back here, one at the front, carrying handles, I suppose. And it all just folds down into a nice flat pack. Right, so that's pretty much it for the indoors unboxing. Let's get outside and let's give it a test, shall we? I saw Rick Hall's um, video on this that he put up this week. Um, and his was quite floppy and flappy. It didn't seem to have this bit, which is on mine, it's hinged hinge down just to, to give it that more that support um, it's kept going it out at the sides and it wasn't wasn't too too clever really um, whereas that one as you can see it's got the grate in the bottom and it just gives it more support the sides there look which is uh, a bit of a shame really because I do like the stove um, and I don't think uh, I don't think you were too keen on it, Rick. Were you? 
but I, I really like it. And, you know, like yourself, I mean, I'm struggling to get one of the, um, the Bushcraft Essentials fireboxes, so, you know, the XL. So I thought, well, this is the next best thing to it, really, you know.